this is unexplored unlocked edition for nintendo switch this is just my quick review on the game i played several hours this game to get the full benefit of the game's nuances and little um and nitpicks that i have with the game it's fun it's got a lot of options it's also got all the dlc here you got the mithril run which is basically just a treasure hunt collect enough gold be rich and escape your life and you get a high score for the more gold so that's that's good that's for the leaderboards and stuff like that you got the ripley run which is basically hunting creeps they're all there well the ripley run is basically telling you that you can see the monsters they'll be on like a radar sort of thing on your map and you just have to find them past all the traps and of course the territory and all the atmospheric and you know physical hazards that are along the way just to hinder you it's not that easy and there's the dark ones it, that third dlc is just basically uh, kill the cultists and that's quite good fun as well you enter a mansion and one of you is going to die and it's usually it's usually you because you are going to die the game itself is a lot of fun the enemies will well tell you a new one until you learn their patterns but they do have an advantage the enemies and the monsters that you fight can get you at an angle if you don't know how they come at you so if you're not ready for them just using your skills and potions and god knows what else to stay alive then you will die really quickly the randomly generated puzzles as well all maps take a little while to load sometimes as they're being created sometimes annoyingly because you are waiting quite a while for the bigger levels especially on the dlc the third dlc seems to load for quite a while but that didn't put me off i really enjoyed playing the game it's got a lot of replay value you know there's just there's just a, a little bit different than normal games that i played at the start because it, it's so random that no experience is the same it can sometimes be easier sometimes be more difficult it really doesn't hold your hand as i said it, it's really an ass kicking game it will pee you off because the combat i find is a bit of a chore you control your character with your left thumb stick with the right thumb stick you can lock on like a twin stick shooter to wield your weapon i tended not to do that that much but i recommend you get practicing with the both thumb sticks when controlling the character that way it makes the combat a lot more easier I found that the enemies were very creative, dangerous, a lot of them are very, oh, they'll just drive you mad. <laughs> There's also bridges, fog, which comes from nowhere, poison gas, water that will drown you, spike traps, weapon traps, fire traps, enemies that come at you really fast or slow, OP enemies, weak enemies, and it's all totally random. You don't know if you're gonna get an easy run or a hard run but it's usually hard you can in the options section just change it up a bit because all the options in the game are customizable to make the game easier for yourself or harder for yourself one down downfall in the game is it's uh, one death you die that's it it's all gone you can't save where you died or before you die if you're thinking of saying hey you know what i know i might die soon so i'll save here and then i'll come back and replay it doesn't let you do that all your data is uh, totally deleted and it's, that's it it's complete permadeath and i hate permadeath games if i knew this game is a permadeath game i probably would have ran a mile so do i recommend this game mm -hmm. overall i do it is fun the permadeath is a pain in the bum and you will probably hate it so yeah you will be impressed by you know, the game's fluidity it controls really well it looks good you know i like the art style the colors everything is nice the weapons are pretty good but the way you use them isn't so good they have a cooldown system on the sword which is really annoying and gets you killed many times because the enemies are pretty much like uh, they never miss they they just go for it and you know if there's two or three of them you're basically done for unless you've got plenty of potions mm. but you can use the uh, well the keys and everything to go into rooms and you can use special levers and they'll close the doors behind you so if you're fast enough you can close off the enemies from chasing you and killing you as i said the enemies are very creative and here unless you use the lock on you're really going to get done because the lock on really is what makes the game 
if you use the lock on to lock on the enemies you'll be facing the right direction automatically swinging once a cooldown <laughs> timed properly is uh, put into motion and <laughs> you know you won't die that easy because you know the lock on will just save your ass get used to it because you have to use it I do recommend it so my final verdict for the game is it's definitely worth buying it's not overly priced I think it's priced quite fairly I do like the fog of war as well when you're actually exploring the room so that's pretty good you don't know what's on the next room the next wall or the next rock face or secret tunnel or steps you don't know what's going to be there because it's obviously totally random it just adds a bit more atmosphere to the game it makes it more harder I know but you know if you could go into a room and you'll find it full of like 30 tiny spiders and you'll kill five or six of them but the rest will just kill you so you have to run away as fast as you can outrun them and go to the next level or lock the door behind you it just makes you think tactically and that's why I like this game it's a good brain tester really it just makes your grey cells a little bit stronger when you play this game Sure, the cooldown is annoying, the permadeath is annoying, but there's so many options and features in this game, and obviously the DLC included, that it makes it, well, a really worthy game in anyone's collection. And I have to recommend it, because I had fun. I'm not going to rate it, I don't rate games. I just say if it's worth buying or not. And this game is worth buying, and it's one of the better games out there. And I was very impressed that... Although it did take me a few hours just to really master the game to, a, a, well, I'll say master, to play the game a lot better, I should say. Um, yeah, I just put time into it. That's all you need to do. And I'll be playing this game for a good while. You know, I do like it. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever be deleted off my system because it is fun. The weapons are fun. It takes a little while to get used to the crossbow, to tell you the truth. I'm not very good with it. I kept missing because I wasn't always locking on. But again, get the game. Use the lock on, complete the tutorial, and just enjoy the game. And that's all I have to say about it. Definitely worth a buy.